Welcome to the ADS tutorial series, Assessing Results with the ADS System Output Files. My name is Fred Copper, and I've worked almost 40 years uh, in the turbo machinery field. I've retired from a major company, and I'm, I'm now working with Aerodynamic Solutions. And in the next almost hour, I will take you through uh, the ADS output files and introduce you to uh, the power of these output files in assessing your particular design and looking at ways where possibly you could do another iteration to improve the design. So thank you for joining us and let us move on to the tutorial. This tutorial addresses using the files outputted by the ADS CFD system to evaluate the results of a turbo machinery computation. Uh, we are now at the point where the user has executed a computation and has reviewed the computation that it is a well converged uh, computation and is ready to use these results for engineering or research purposes. It's worth just mentioning that it is always good practice to review a computation uh, for proper convergence. The ADS flow solver, Code Leo, has been demonstrated to be a very accurate and robust solver, but there's always a possibility of input uh, errors, so checking the results before proceeding to use the output is always a, a very wise thing to do. The system automatically outputs four types of output files, and these four files are shown here. Uh, the first file, the dot mean value file, provides performance data at the inlet and exit of, an a, of each airfoil row in the computation, and it's based on a full passage flow weight basis. The dot next average uh, file provide span-wise profiles, again, at the inlet and exit locations for each airfoil row. And these results then com can be compared with 2D streamline type of computations that may have been done earlier in the design cycle. The third type of file, the dot load file, provides aerodynamic loading information, that is Mach number, static pressure distributions on the airfoil surfaces, as well as skin friction, heat transfer coefficient, and other important information on the airfoil surfaces. The last uh, file, the dot plot file, is the most comprehensive file. It's a file that provides uh, information at the, the matrix, uh, or the, the nodal points of the solution, and these uh, this information can be plotted uh, as vector plots, contour plots, to gain a, ver a very detailed understanding of the flow uh, behavior of the particular component. These four files, or, or as mentioned, are automatically generated and are placed in the case folder and will have the, the naming convention of the case name followed by the extension or one of the four extensions that I just briefly reviewed. Now it's important for the user to understand where the results are tabulated for the first two files, the, the, the dot mean value and the mixed average files. This uh, chart shows a three row uh, turbine uh, computation uh, or setup. It happens to be a, a three-row research turbine made up of a vane blade vane. And shown here is the uh, computational mesh. Um, can't see the details, but because it, it's a relatively fine mesh. But it shows that uh, for the three rows. Um, there, these rows are called sectors. Each row is basically a, a sector, a computational sector, and each sector is made up of computational blocks. And typically, there are five or more 
uh, computational blocks in each sector. And each computational block would have its own uh, mesh topology, which overall would provide a very efficient uh, solving scheme for the particular uh, problem at hand. Now here, looking at the first sector, which is a vein row, and I've labeled the uh, upstream or uh, st station and the downstream station. And it's these two stations that the output information would be provided in the, the mean value and mixed average files. 